Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a massive new update for One UI 7.0. Now, this update is for the beta versions. It's for the S24, S23, and it brings some really nice features down to these older models, taking them directly from the S25, plus other improvements. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on. So I have made the update on this phone right over here. This is the S23. You can see the size is 1,204 gigabytes. It's got the latest security patch, it's ending in ZYCE, that is 7.0 with Android 15. And you can see we have actual new features and also some big bug fixes. So let's see what's going on over here. So first, I'm going to quickly look at the four features listed here. There is more. I'm going to show that to you as well. So the first big one is press and hold side button to launch the digital assistant. So that's now being coded into these latest One UI 7.0 betas. So when I press and hold the button here, it is going to launch the Gemini app. Now you can see as I press it right now, nothing happens. But what you do have to do is you have to set it up. It's actually set, it, set to launch Bixby, which is something uh, I think they're, they're going to be transitioning out of this. But I'm going to go to settings over here. I'm going to go over here and go over to advanced features. I'm going to go into the uh, side button and tap on the long press. Now we can choose digital assistant. I'm going to go into the settings. We're going to choose Google. Now when I press and hold on Google, it is going to bring the regular Google, okay, which is normal. If you see that, all you do is you go to the Google app, which should be installed on your phone. If not, you can get this from the Play Store. Then you tap this guy over here and go to the settings and then simply tap on Gemini okay and that's going to allow you to activate the Gemini assistant which I think is far better than Google assistant which is much more simple it doesn't have AI so I'm going to say use Gemini and that's it okay now when I go out I am able to get this feature press and hold and that is my Gemini now when you do it for the first time you get this thing right here but you can see it is working it is uh, it knows exactly what I'm saying, okay? But you can X this out. Let's exit, press and hold. And that is exactly what it's going to look like. So Gemini AI is right here, okay? So that's fantastic. This, is, this was an S25 exclusive feature. Now it's actually running on the S23 and also available on the S24 with this One UI 7.0 beta update, okay? So that's first big feature. Number two, when you go to the settings, okay, it's not going to be available on the S23, okay? But if you have the S24 beta, this here is the S25, what you are going to have is you are going to have the Gemini Assistant search functionality built in to the search in the settings. And you'll see this colored search bar as opposed to this one. So S24 will get this. S23 is not going to get it, okay? So we don't know if that's going to come to the S23 later, but for now, it is not there. But if you have an S24, yes, you will see this. This is far superior to this search functionality. All the results here are AI-powered, okay? You're not going to get that over here. Now, another new feature that has come to both the S23, S24 is, and also the Z Fold 6, is the uh, internet browser the built-in samsung internet browser which is just internet is going to have a brand new ai functionality so here's just an example website if i tap over here i now have the capability to read highlights aloud in the previous version this was not available so now if i tap on this one it is going to highlight key points from this Montana website scientists paper on and it's going to read them to me aloud and that's great because if this is a very long journal and you just don't want to read it you can just tap here and you can get a quick summary and it's going to be read to you by ai intelligence okay so it's going to be very well summarized and it's going to be read out to you so that's another new feature that is now here the next thing that is going to change is this one right over here now on the s23 i do not think this is going to change but on the s24 it is so if I go to my Air Command menu, and if I go to Sketch to Image, this is the old style Sketch to Image, okay? So let me just quickly sketch something here. 
doesn't have to be anything special. I'm just going to say sketch and generate. That's what stays on the S23, but on the S24, Z Fold 6, and all that, you are going to get the new style, okay? This is the old style, and you're going to see that on the later models. If I tap on this one, and if I go to my uh, drawing assist, is what it's going to be called, instead of sketch to image, and this is the newer version, okay? So again, uh, if I sketch something right here, I have more options to choose from, as you can see, sketch, oil painting, pop art, illustration, whatever, and I can even add text descriptions to enhance uh, my, my, my creation, okay? You can see I can have the photo right here, and I can add text, and then I can say, you know, generate. And normally, they probably look the same right now, but if you add more details, you get even more additional enhancements, okay? So this is a very simple example. Let me give you a nice example. Let's uh, describe something. So let's say I want to create something like this using AI, okay? Again, I just describe what I want, and I say I want to sketch. I'm going to tap on Generate. So you're not going to be able to do that on the S23, but, but on the S24 and the Z Fold, look at this. Oh, right here, okay? And I can generate one more as, as I need it. Here, it gives you four generations at once, whether you want it or not. Here, it gives you one generation, then you tap, I want one more, and you get one more. And I think that also saves processing in the background. So this feature is going to show up on the S24, but not on the S23. But that's also one of the newer features with this latest One UI 7 beta update. If we go into the phone, and if I go into my settings, Right over here, you're going to see you have the record calls option. That might already be there, but when you go inside, look at this, transcript assist, tap on it, and what you now have is you have summarized transcripts. So when you record a call during a phone call, it saves the voice and the text. And also, it is now going to summarize and save the transcripts. If you go to the change log, you can see that right here, Call recording summary is now converted to text as well. The deeper they make the existing functionality, the better, especially in a very popular feature like this one, uh, where you get to now record calls, okay? So enhanced feature right here. Now I will mention that the overall smoothness of these phones has really been enhanced. This, for example, is the S23, and it just feels amazing. Okay, it's much more smooth, much more responsive uh, than the previous betas. Look at that. Super buttery smooth. All right, let me try that one more time here. A couple apps. Beautiful. All right. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. Remember, with this update, we also get the latest patch, security patch, so you can check that as well. At the bottom, go to About Phone. And then go over to software information, scroll down, tap on Android security patch, all right? And then go to the website to tap on read. And then scroll down and go over to Samsung, and you can see there's a lot of security vulnerabilities that were patched in this update. You can see we have a lot of critical patches, high patches, nothing in the moderate. You can read the details at the bottom here as you please, okay? So overall, a great update. All right, so that's going to be a bunch of new features to expect with One UI 7.0. And then we have a whole bu bunch of bug fixes. Now, I will let you know, if you have the S24, you're supposed to get better animations when you uh, charge the phone. So on this one, I think it's been pretty well. So if I plug this in, you can see we have the animation on the top right here. That looks pretty nice. If I turn off the phone, uh, it should appear at the bottom right here. Let's uh, take this off. Plug it back in. Okay, so we have that animation right there. So I think that's just, that's been the same on the S23, but on the S24, it is supposed to be a little bit better. Okay, let's look at that one more time. Okay, that looks nice. And when we are on the inside, look at the top corner right here. Okay, so on the S24, in the change log of One UI 7.0 beta, it says the animation for the battery has been improved. You can drop a comment down below. Let me know if you saw that or not.
I'm still not getting the One UI 7.0 beta pushed out to my S24, but on the S23, even though it was delayed, it is here. Now, unfortunately, the S23 Ultra is not gonna get the audio eraser feature. So if I go to my Galaxy AI, and if I scroll down, you can see it is missing. But if you have an S24, you are gonna see the audio eraser feature. So if I tap over here, this is the feature where you are able to adjust and modify existing audio that you recorded on a video. So you can see right here, eliminate distracting noises in videos by adjusting the volume, okay? So that feature is not gonna be on the S23, but the S24 will get it, which is fantastic. All right, so that's about it for the One UI 7.0 latest beta update. It is coming closer and closer uh, to the actual release. We should see that in April sometime for these major smartphones like the S24, S23, Z Fold 6, Z Fold 5, and all that stuff. But it's great that more features are trickling down to older phones, making the older phones more valuable from a software perspective. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.